So, before we talk about rendering, I would like us to look at the vegetation and the ocean features which exist here. How this works is uh, pretty simple. How you can assess them is simply click on this uh, button which we have here, which is called nature. And then you can click on vegetation. And with this feature, you can go ahead, like if I'll show you in a moment, you can go ahead and paint the vegetation around where you want uh, the vegetation to apply. So I'm going to click on grass. And now you see I have a very huge brush. If you are familiar with um, how you can paint stuff maybe in Photoshop and stuff, it actually works the same. Yeah. So all we have to do is let's crank this uh, stuff all the way down the brush. And then we can simply paint the vegetation how we choose. Nice. And at the same time, we can turn down the density of what we want to paint and then we can go ahead and paint this all the way in and also stuff like this we can go all the way and paint it in we also have this eraser feature which simply means that we can erase parts of uh, the vegetation that we don't want to keep you can turn this all the way down and make it a little bit lower let's let's actually make this about three and then we can use it to do whatever we want now painting grasses are not the only thing you can do with the vegetation um, with the vegetation tool you can also choose to paint other stuff like this so let's say I want to paint uh, give me a second so let's say I want to paint all of these puppies I can go ahead and select the brush and then I can just paint the puppies all around at the same time I can choose to also clean up some parts that I don't need and I can also choose to paint in some trees so for this example I'm going to go ahead click and drop this particular three here it's called black gum and then I can paint in the black gum wherever I want it to be so you have this uh, unlimited very unlimited options of things you can do at the same time you can choose to mix stuff up and just paint them where you want them to be or simply instead of doing all that if you want to individually hand place your 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 models you can also choose to click and drag and hand place your models where you want them to be Now we've looked at vegetation, let's take a look at the ocean feature here. So if I click on the ocean feature and click on enable, automatically you're going to see the whole place is filled with water and my workers are drowning. So what I'm going to do is I can bring the water level a little bit lower. Let's actually go ahead and place the floor down. And then we can just make it a minus one or maybe we can make it a uh, minus two or maybe a minus 2.5 yes something like this and then it might balance out properly also we can change the type of water we want or the type of ocean we want to get our desired results. Hi, before you click the next video on the top right corner of the screen, if you like what you've just seen, click on the like button and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates next time we upload a new video.